The Elgato Stream Deck is an awesome tool, whether you're streaming or recording. When I think about my workflow, I can't live without it. And Elgato has just released a major update for the Stream Deck version 5.0 with some incredible new features. So let's take a look. You can get the update directly from the Stream Deck app. So we'll go ahead into the little gear menu, choose general and check for updates. And we'll see that the new version five is available and go ahead and install. And once it's finished downloading the application, you see it's a little over hundred megabytes. You can simply go ahead and click next to install, accept the license agreement. We'll go ahead and do that. We can now see that it's finished doing the installation. So now that we've installed Stream Deck 5.0, let's check out the new features. So when we open the Stream Deck application, we can see a new icon at the top and we click this to get to the great new features. The first tab you see opens up is called Discover. And this is where Elgato shares some of the latest information about new products that are coming out, not only the Stream Deck, but other things, integrations with the Stream Deck, as well as other products they have. So just an awesome way to get to whatever information you want to know from Elgato. The next section is plugins. And while we could always add plugins, this organizes them all in one place. You see, we get categories by different types of tools. We can install them directly from this menu. So this really helps keep things organized. And once we have them installed, we take a look, they'll simply show up at the side along with all our other plugins and options in the Stream Deck. So just fantastic. Next, we have icons and, you know, we can add our own icons. Elgato's done a lot of work to create icon creator software and others have made this as well. And, you know, we can download packs from other people, but here they've included it all in one spot. So, I mean, if we want to add an additional icon pack, we can go ahead and take a look at it get an idea about what's in there and then just click install. And when we go ahead and install that, it's going to bring down these icons and add them directly into the stream deck. So now we've got that in here. We can go ahead back and say we want to create a new, uh, a new item in here. I'm going to just go ahead and drag a new scene from OBS into the top. Well, if I want to change this icon, I just click the plus bar and now I actually have an additional icon pack in here and I can select any icon that I want to. So this is just, again, a fantastic way to add this additional functionality integrated right into the Stream Deck app. And so once we get through icons, we can then take a look at music. And this one, I gotta tell you, is unexpected. Elgato says we have royalty-free music here that can be used for both streaming and recording. So. I mean, I use Epidemic Sound in pretty much all of my videos, but this is amazing integration right here into Stream Deck. And you can see that we can look at different genres and they've got many, many different genres available here. We can select by instrument as well, if there's something specific we're looking for, or even by mood, plus tempo, duration. I mean, this is unreal. And when we find something we wanna look at, we can just click on the preview button to hear what it's like. So now I've added this music in in the background and I mean, I'm listening to this, I can check what I want just by scrolling through before I download it. But if I find something that I wanna get, then I just click download and it's gonna go ahead and bring that into my library. Okay, so I had to stop for a minute. Like, is it just me, 10,000 songs? There's gotta be something in there for everybody. And, you know, it gives you the option. You can open the library right from this icon. It opened on my other window, but, you know, there we get it. Or when we're in the Stream Deck app itself in the front, now we can go to the soundboard. And so if I add a play audio icon here, I can now add this music directly in. I just click on the files at the bottom and I can go ahead and select what I've just chosen. So, I mean, this is fantastic. And if I don't want to go through music in this area, all I need to do is add the icon with play audio from soundboard and I can click right here and it'll take me to music and open it up. So, I mean, really direct ways to get at it. Let's go ahead and actually add uh, some music in here. And uh, there it is. I can, again, if I want to change the icon here, I go ahead and put a different icon on this, whatever, uh, you know, whatever I, I think this is going to be useful for. I don't know. I'll just pick one here. And uh, there we go. And now when I press that button, 
we're going to have that music in the background right away. And we have options on screen. We can adjust the volume level. So if we want to lower the play level down or raise it up right here in the, in the app. This is fantastic. And we can choose different audio devices to output it to. So this will really help you organize your stream audio. Just, uh, just incredible new functions that have been built in here in, in version five. And if that wasn't enough, we have sound effects and it works much the same way. We can find whatever kind of sound effect we're looking for. Again, there's a lot of different categories to choose from. And this is great for anything like alerts, chats, whatever you want to add in on your stream. And so the same thing, we can just select them to listen to see what we get. And we can go ahead and uh, download them the same way. Just clicking download, they'll immediately go into our library so that we can uh, access them in the same way using Soundboard. And I got to say, Stream Deck 5 just took me completely by surprise. It's not that I couldn't do a lot of these things before, but adding them as integration into the Stream Deck just changed workflow for everybody. This makes life so much easier. I'm always looking for ways to make my recordings and live streams better. And when I saw the Stream Deck 5 update come out, I just had to share this with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of the others on my channel. As always, new content's coming out weekly. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.